It's 3.04. I'm working. Things aren't going real great with my mom at the nursing home. After I recorded yesterday, they called last night and said um, they found her on the floor. Actually, the mat they put next to her bed, so at least it was cushioned. Because, you know, they're not allowed to restrain people. They're not even allowed to have a bed rail. So they found her on the floor. She has an alarm thing on her bed. The alarm went off. The nurse went in. She was on the floor, on the pad. So they were sending for a stat x-ray to see if she screwed up her hip. I called this morning, and the day nurse knew nothing about any of it. So I have no idea what's going on. Hopefully they would have called me if it was broken again or something was wrong. But Anyway, Pete tells me there's wa hot water now in the shower, so I'll get a shower tonight. The other thing they told me was that they needed somebody to sit with her because they didn't have adequate staff to keep an eye on her. So they said they needed the family to come and sit with her. I can't do any more. I can't do any more than I'm doing right now. So I told her that. I don't even know what we're going to have for dinner. I'm getting to the point where I can't even think straight. I'm so... I'm thinking about all you guys that are in the path of Irma. There are so many of my YouTube friends that are down there. And Mari, I know that you are staying there in Miami. And you're not going to evacuate. And Well, there's so many friends. I am just sick. Dear Sister Marnie, I don't know if you're evacuating or still there. Like I said, while we're here, I don't have internet. I only have what's on my phone, which I need to use for work. Uh, my phone has limited hotspot internet, and I have to use it for work. I can't watch videos on it. I don't know if we'll be back in West Branch next week or not. I don't know. Or if we'll come back down here, I guess it depends on my mom. But Pete has appointments up there next week, too. So I have no idea what's going to happen next week. We haven't heard back from the insurance company about the RV yet. <sighs> Casey's very excited about her wedding on Saturday, as well she should be, and I am, too. I just have to get, I should be, not have all this other stuff right this minute. I should be just excited and everything for my girl. And at the, her job, she got offered a full-time position, so she's stoked about that. She really likes this job a lot, so this new one. So, Pete just got back. That's why I'm moving, because he's walking up the stairs. He just got back from running some errands, so. Um, I'm not going to plan on making videos. Uh, this is going to be it for today. I've got enough going on, and I'm not going to edit later and all that. This will be it for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow or the next day or whenever I vlog again but for now it's just this is going to be it for today so you guys all have a great day and love you guys and please stay safe please stay safe these storms are just of biblical proportions so please stay safe and i will be watching um on social media for all of you friends that I love to make sure you're okay watch for you to post that you're alright so I'm sure there will be a lot of us doing that so alright I'll see you guys next time take care God bless hi guys 930 
I feel like it's 2.30. Oh, jeez, look who's coming. Hi. I know I said I wasn't going to record anymore today, but I just want to let you know I'm really well at the nursing home tonight. They had my mom lowered even further. She was probably a foot from the floor. They had pillows on the sides of her, so she, you know, she it would take her some effort to get out. And then she, um, and then they had, of course, the mat next to her bed. I got to talk to the director of nursing again, the afternoon, or the day nurse and the afternoon nurse. So we're all pretty much on the same page. They did uh, find somebody to come and sit with her last night. There's a young man that works there. His name is Aaron. And he is wonderful. When he'd work in the, in the dementia ward where my mom was there, and I'd go back there and he'd, um, I'd say, how's she doing today? He'd tell me when she laid down, when she got up, how much lunch she, everything. And he knew that for everybody. You know, he just, he goes the extra mile. Like tonight there was a woman, one of my mom's roommates, they brought in in a chair and she fell asleep in her chair and her arm was hanging outside the arm of the chair. And he said, um, he came in to check on my mom and then he goes, Oh, that's going to hurt when she wakes up and he picked up her arm and laid it across her chest. You know, that just is, he's just a natural. He's excellent. And several other aides had come and gone and they hadn't done anything with their arm, but he did. And he, he just has that little extra something for the, for the patients there. And uh, so anyway, he sat with my mom last night. He's going to sit with her again tonight. He went home about seven. He says, I'll be back in a few hours. So... Bless his heart, Aaron is a very special young man. But, of course, the people there are really nice. I mean, the people there are nice. I have not run across anybody that is out to make anybody patient suffer. I mean, anything like that. Just, I was just, I was just, I felt better about things after I left tonight. And, um, you know... The director of nursing uh, said, you know, well, I was thinking about, you know, some solutions for your mom last night when I was going to sleep. That just really touched me, you know, so. Uh, I, they, I still need her closer to me, but I now I just feel better about the whole thing. So I just, I don't know. I'm going to sleep on it, pray about it, wait for God's leading. But um, anyway, I just want to let you guys know that even though I said I wasn't going to come back tonight. I am really tired. It's been raining. Every joint in my body is hurting from my skull to my big toes. <laughs> so I just took my Atotalac, and, uh, which is pain pill, and uh, two Tylenol PMs with my regular meds. So I am going to... Uh, Hopefully go to sleep and feel better when I wake up. Tomorrow will be moving day again. But yeah. Lots going on, but I'll worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow, tonight, I need sleep. And Chewy. Chewy! We said Chewy, we found a couple fleas on Chewy today. So he got sprayed. Didn't you got sprayed? He didn't like it. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes, Chewy. I've always found that the Adams works the best of any of them, and I would never use Hearts or Sergeants because um, we saw way too many dogs and cats that had reactions to that when I was a vet tech. But I really like Adams, and I've used it for a lot of years, and it works very well. Two, you don't got no more fleas, White. Two, we? They're going to jump on them and die, White. Okay, guys. I'm going to go. I got to get up for work in 11 hours, so. <laughs> well, I do. He looks at me like, oh. Rolling his eyes. That's it. We could use every minute of it, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we could. We have so much stuff to do. But whatever. So, 
I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, probably, if I have time to video, vlog, whatever. If not, well, on the wedding day, I'm going to try and get lots of clips, and I'll probably put them into a separate video. So, you guys have a great Friday. Take care. God bless and good night.